Okay, students, pop quiz. Who knows what's in the new deal for CUNY? One thing that's in there. What do we want on this bus? Somebody call it out. Yes, ma'am. Mental health resources. Hell yes. Mental health resources for CUNY. Very good. That is in there. Who else? What else is in the new deal for CUNY? Yes, you in the back with the beard. Louder. <laughs> First 60 credits for free and ultimately just free college. Return CUNY to free. It used to be free. It can be free again. It's an investment. You all are an investment in the state's future. Yes, the more money for full-time faculty and for conversion lines. No one should make a poverty wage teaching. That is egregious. And we know that CUNY is crumbling, so we need capital. I'm able to stand here before you today as a state assembly member is because someone believed in CUNY. Someone believed in a Sikh student that wanted to fight for all of us to have the best possible future. And one thing that one of my colleagues spoke about is that at one point, CUNY used to be free. But when the shade of the CUNY students got darker, that's when we started to see tuition and I proudly represent the 31st Assembly District in Southeast Queens, the best district in the state. And I'm excited to be here today uh, in the state's capital. Of course, we have legislative session, but uh, one of the most important things uh, that I'm doing here today is advocating with my allies at CUNY to ensure that this budget reflects the needs of our future. I'm currently a freshman at John Jay College studying political science. And um, I go by she, they pronouns. CUNY is really important to me because I love CUNY. I love John Jay. I love that I am getting the access and help I need for my future endeavors as an immigration lawyer because of this school. Um, this school is really important for me because it means that later in the future I can help people who went through a similar experience as my family. Uh, CUNY is super important for not only people here in New York city or New York State, but for the world, it's important for us to get the resources and advantages to become global citizens and help people, not only in this country, but everywhere. Oh, sorry. Is on a budget that stops the closure plan for SUNY Downstate Hospital and increases funding for SUNY hospitals. So um, I think there were, well, I guess there's a messaging issue regarding SUNY Downstate. Really? So apparently nobody, well, I, mean, I can't speak to that. All yeah. I can say is there are nobody's closing SUNY Downstate. Oh, that's good information. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where. I think that was when the governor, the state of the state, I think that's where, or her executive budget, that's where yeah. 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 Nobody else has commented on that. Being wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm curious to know. Hi, my name is Lauren Sharpentier. I'm currently a student at John Jay, uh, majoring in criminal justice, minoring in cybercrime. And the reason why, so I love coming, right? I'm an out of state student coming to the city. Huge, huge deal. You know, my friends all love it for me. It's such an amazing opportunity. And especially with the connections that you can get from, you know, John Jay, the College of Criminal Justice, and CUNY in general. However, it does still have its issues, CUNY as a whole, SUNY as a whole. You know, so the reason why I'm fighting for higher education is to give everybody the same opportunity, um, as well as just education is such an important thing. And it's the fact that it's being defunded while other schools. They don't have to pay taxes. There's just so much that goes on, as well as food insecurity that goes into the CUNY schools. You know, the concept of starving students used over the years as a kind of joke, but a new study shows for students at CUNY, 
it's real. Yeah, shocking new surveys out tonight shows nearly half the students at the City University of New York have gone hungry in the last month. More than half have been without a place to live in the past year. Hi guys, my name is Sage Mocha and I am a Nyberg intern at City College. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um I had Oh my gosh, I ate it up with a silver spoon. It was so amazing to be there. It was so inspiring hearing the other students that were there. We've been fighting for some of the same things for three years, and that's so, so deeply depressing. But the fact that the same people are still here fighting for it is just invigorating. It was energizing and at the same time depressing. It was such a wonderful, magical, horrible experience. And it was just like, it was amazing. And the one thing that I took from it is like, Bam, in their face, be in their face all the time. Like there were multiple times where I had to be like, let me finish talking, or can you please write that down? Or do you know what this is? Um, and then a lot of it was like, they were actually like, no, we didn't know that. And that was really great to have them kind of like come around on that information. But it was really great. It was really fun. I had a great time. The team and I worked so well together. And I think that I saw all the other teams doing the same thing. And it was awesome. Thank you. Woo!